So uh, the way the PVP comes into play is uh, originally, if you had a PVP one or two, you weren't even eligible to claim the credit at all, but they've removed that rule. So now that because the PVP only covers at maximum 48 weeks. So it's uh, if you received a PVP one, that would cover 24 weeks. And then a two would be 24 more weeks. And uh, that doesn't cover the entirety of the time frame of the pandemic at present. So they uh, removed that rule set and no longer is that a disqualifying factor. The way that it comes into play with uh, estimating a credit is that uh, it's uh, it's about a blanket deduction. So if you had a, 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 a good rule of thumb might be that if you had a $200,000 potential ERTC and you received $100,000 of PPP, now your potential ERTC is $100,000. It's not exactly that straight deduction. And the reason is that there's a lot of uh, uh, factors that can uh, offset that. There's the excess wages and there's the owner's wages. So if uh, the way it works with the ERTC is that owner's wages and relatives of the owner are not eligible to have their wages considered for the ERTC. So if you're an owner and you're, pay, you're also an employee and you're paid as a W-2 employee, those particular wages for you are not counted and also for your relatives. And that goes out pretty far to even include nephew and uh, daughter-in-law, et cetera. So it goes a pretty far range of families considered rel uh, that's related to the owner. Those wages don't count. However, those wages can be used to uh, demonstrate allocation from the PPP. So if the owner, uh, if the owner, uh, uh, if the owner received fifty thousand dollars in wages, and we're still going back to that hundred thousand dollar PPP, we can say that uh, a certain percentage of the uh, wages that the owner received was covered from the PPP, and then therefore the deduction of the PPP from the ERTC would be a little bit lower. And there's uh, certain maximums and roles that have to be applied. Uh, the most that you can deduct from that PPP uh, is two and a half months of wages uh, from your 2019 wages. And the way they did that is to basically make sure that employers weren't all of a sudden giving themselves a large pay raise and then uh, having the PPP be the uh, mechanism for giving that pay raise.